Now that your Quasar 900 open path gas detector has arrived and has been mounted at the desired location, the first step of the installation process is to do the rough alignment of the detector and flash source. Here is a quick look at how to make your rough alignment adjustments using the included stainless steel mounting brackets. When making your adjustments on the mounting bracket, you will notice that there are two tensioning bolts on both the horizontal and vertical axis. The first step in making your rough horizontal alignment adjustments is to loosen the two tensioning bolts located closest to the mounting bracket. Now that you have loosened both the tensioning bolts, you will notice the detector will have free range of motion on the horizontal axis. Once you have reached the approximate location along the horizontal alignment plane, it is now time to tighten the one screw closest to the mounting plate, locking in place the static arms for the fine alignment process. Just as you notice with the horizontal adjustments, you will find two tensioning bolts along the side of the mounting bracket. To begin making a rough vertical alignment, loosen both of the vertical adjustment tensioning bolts. You will then notice that the detector has free range of motion along the vertical axis. Once you have reached the approximate location along the vertical alignment plane, it is now time to tighten the outermost screw on the vertical alignment shaft, locking in place the static arms for the final alignment process. Now that you have made your rough alignment adjustments, it is now time to attach the alignment telescope, allowing you to make your fine alignment adjustments. The first step in attaching the alignment telescope is to remove the lens visor with the two screws shown here. Simply unscrew the two screws holding on the lens visor and set it aside. Notice that it will remain attached via a cable lanyard. Notice that the alignment telescope has three main parts, the mounting bracket, the telescope itself, and the periscope, allowing you to view from a rotating 90 degree angle. When you begin to mount the alignment telescope on the front of the detector, notice that there are three spring-loaded screws on the mounting plate, as well as two small dimples. These two dimples line up with corresponding pins on the front of the detector face. When you begin to attach the telescope, first make sure that the pins on the detector are aligned with the dimples on the mounting plate, and begin by tightening the top screw first, then proceed to tighten the two side screws. Now that the alignment telescope has been mounted, it is time to make your fine adjustments before calibrating the open path unit. Notice the two horizontal adjustment knobs attached towards the bottom of the mounting plate. Begin to turn the two knobs simultaneously in opposite directions to reach your final adjustment position along the horizontal axis. This is what you should see through the telescope when making your fine horizontal alignment adjustments. Once you have reached your final horizontal position, it is time to tighten the last adjustment bolt. Just as you did for the horizontal adjustments, it is now time to make your fine vertical adjustments. Notice the two adjustment knobs attached towards the mounting plate. Begin to turn the two knobs simultaneously in opposite directions to meet your final adjustment position along the vertical axis. This is what you should see through the telescope when making your final vertical adjustments. Once you have reached your final horizontal position, it is time to tighten the last adjustment bolt. Now that the detector and flash source have been aligned with one another, the LED in the rear of the detector should be flashing green. Now it is time to calibrate the unit. To do this, use the supplied mode selector magnet and swipe it twice along the side of the detector opposite of the identification tag. The LED should, should now be flashing yellow in alignment mode. Lastly, swipe the magnet a third time which will put the detector in zero calibration mode indicated by a solid yellow LED. Once the detector has finished performing the zero calibration, it will then go back into normal mode indicated by the flashing green LED. Once the detector is back into normal operation mode, you, pe you can begin the self-test using the function test filters included in the commissioning kit. One filter is equipped with a thin screen which simulates atmospheric conditions similar to that which would signal a warning. The second filter simulates that of an alarm. 
Using the clamp located on top of the filter, attach the warning filter to the lens visor, ensuring that it is directly in line with the path of the flash source. Notice that when you attach the warning filter, the detector should go into warning mode indicated by a flashing red LED. Notice that when you attach the alarm filter, the detector should go into alarm indicated by a solid red LED.